In 2670, a group of spaceship enthusiasts who like to tweak some spaceships with homemade tech decided that maybe a very populated planet wasn't the best place to test some new potentially bomb caliber engines. Take that however you will. Their journey for a safe place to test ended up becoming the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. Let's talk about what this event is and what it could mean for you moving forward the next couple weeks playing Star Citizen. Thank you for coming to my Tomato Talk. Thanks to my newest patrons, Dasek and City028. While the expo started out as a small gathering of enthusiasts which was eventually overtaken by the industry at large, much like the Penny Arcade, the heart of the event is still the same. Ships. The Intergalactic Aerospace Expo is an in-game, annual event which usually occurs around the third week of November and often includes a free fly event. If you'd like to use this opportunity to take advantage of the free fly event, and try the game out for free, you can also earn yourself some in-game extra currency by using the code on the screen now when you make your free account. The event is split up into several days, depending on the companies sponsoring the day. Each of those days will allow players to visit an in-game convention, see various ships on the inside and out, and even fly some ships for free to see if they enjoy them. And if you do, you can always buy or rent those ships in-game with your in-game hard-earned currency, or you can buy them outside of the game with your even harder-earned currency. Besides being a time at which any fan knows they can purchase the ship that they have been waiting for with real-world money, this event represents a celebration of the most important aspect of Star Citizen and a chance for important information to be released over the next two weeks. There are often brand new ships announced with a model making its way straight into the game, and this year we might see three, though I'd be surprised if all three of them ended up coming to the game immediately. First, the long-anticipated Mercury Star Runner. There is the yet-to-be-announced but heavily speculated and leaked gunship coming from Robert Space Industries, and then, there's the mysterious, yet-to-be-announced Nomad. A ship that I at least partially predicted back in May. As with other events throughout the year, this also stands as a fantastic chance for the back end to flex its muscles and see how a live event might survive with many players logging in and making their way to the same location. Landing ships, spawning vehicles, buying items, and more. I made a video talking about these live events as well as the potential of future events in Star Citizen which you can check out here. We will also see some appearances from Whitley's Guide, dropping news, getting into trouble, and providing the best coverage of the event in a very Top Gear style. So make sure to subscribe and check back to this channel if you'd like to see my own coverage of the event, and check me out on Twitch where you can possibly watch me stream the event or even play along with me. And make sure to hop over to Twitter and give me a follow there as well where I'll be giving my opinions on the event throughout the week. Thank you for checking out this video. I'll catch you guys next time.